In this lecture, we will continue with testing and development activities. Here, we will cover testing activities of Agile project. In an Agile project, we can use two strategies: risk-based testing strategies or pairing strategies. When risk-based testing is used as one of the test strategies, a high-level risk analysis occurs during release planning. With testers often driving that analysis. However, the specific quality risks associated with each iteration are identified and assessed in iteration planning. The risk analysis can influence the sequence of development as well as the priority and depth of testing for the features. It also influences the estimation of the test effort required for each feature. The whole idea of this testing is to reduce the risk. And in some agile practices, for example, in extreme programming, pairing is used. Pairing can also involve a tester working collaboratively with a developer to develop and test a feature. Pairing can be difficult when the test team is distributed, but processes and tools can help enable distributed pairing. So, risk-based testing strategies or pairing strategies are used in an agile model. Next point is related to testing coaches. Testers may serve as a testing and quality coaches within the team. Testers can also share testing knowledge and supporting quality assurance work within the team. This promotes a sense of collective ownership of the quality of the product. Remember this sentence: Testers may serve as a testing and quality coaches within the team. Another important aspect of testing in an agile model is test automation. Since the iteration is quick and an agile model is implemented to make the process fast, it is very important that testing also contributes to it. And with test automation, we can support the agile model. Therefore, test automation at all levels of testing occurs in many agile teams, and this can mean that testers spend time creating, executing, monitoring, and maintaining automated tests and results. And because of the heavy use of test automation, a higher percentage of the manual testing on agile projects tend to be done. Using experience-based and defect-based techniques, such as software attacks, exploratory testing, and error guessing, while developers will focus on creating unit tests, testers should focus on creating automated integration, system, and system integration tests. This leads to a tendency for agile teams. To favor testers with a strong technical and test automation background, the two points are very important here. The first tester spends time in creating, executing, monitoring, and maintaining automated tests and results. And the second point is, even if they want to perform manual testing. They go for experience-based and defect-based techniques such as software attacks, exploratory testing, and error guessing. Since you completed the foundation level, we expect you to know what is for experience-based and defect-based techniques. The important point for which testers should be ready in an agile model is that change can happen at any time. Therefore, one core agile principle. Is that change may occur throughout the project. Therefore, lightweight work product documentation is favored in agile projects, and to test changing regression testing shall be performed in the agile model. The use of automated testing is one way of managing the amount of test effort associated with change. However, it's important that the rate of change. Not exceed the project team's ability to deal with the risks associated with those changes. The important point here is: testers shall be ready for changes. An automated regression testing approach should be used to test changes.
Now let's see what all points we covered in this lecture. The first point is risk-based testing strategies or pairing strategies are used in Agile model. The second point is testers may serve as a testing and quality coaches within the team. Third, we saw test automation with regression testing should be used. For manual testing, we can go for experience-based and defect-based techniques such as software attacks, exploratory testing, and error guessing.